48 hours removed from the money in the bank, we culminate an incredible weekend here in London, England, back inside the Ovo Arena Wembley. This is Monday Night Raw, and the stakes couldn't be any higher in tonight's main event. The Judgment Day for months has been out for a hostile takeover of Monday Night Raw, and that includes Sami Zayn and the Intercontinental Championship. Last month, Dirty Dominic Mysterio aiding Seth freaking Rollins in a victory over the champion himself. Sami Zayn, of course, tried to enact some revenge several weeks ago on Raw with this sneak attack on the man who knows an underhanded tactic or two in Dominic Mysterio. Both men continue to pursue the money in the bank this past Saturday night failing to take down the briefcase. Now their focus remains on tonight's main event as Sami Zayn defends the Intercontinental Championship against Dirty Dominic Mysterio of the Judgment Day. By the end of the night, the Judgment Day just may be draped in championship gold. But we want to take you back to this past Saturday night at the O2 in London. The WWE Championship from Monday Night Raw was on the line as the challenger, the second city saint, played his cards right, getting the championship match he so desired against the prize fighter Kevin Owens 48 hours ago. CM Punk got under the skin of Owens several times over the last two months and got exactly what he wanted, an opportunity to be at the helm of the WWE once again with the WWE Championship on the line. Kevin Owens fought all throughout this matchup to try to retain his precious championship gold but no man is able to sustain not one but two go to sleeps from the second city saint the best in the world once again becoming the wwe champion in what is already a bona fide hall of fame career a new era has begun as hell is frozen over on monday night raw however cm punk's got some unfinished business from the great american bash a few weeks ago that big Bronson Reed is looking to handle here tonight in the Ovo Arena Wembley. We are getting right down to the action on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in. Well, it was two weeks ago at the Monday Night Raw edition of the Great American Bash where Big Brunson Reed went one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk. That matchup going CM Punk's way by disqualification thanks to some interference from Kevin Owens who was looking to enact some revenge for himself on that night. But Big Brunson Reed wants to settle the score against the new WWE Champion. Reed has been on the climb on Raw for the last few months, and a huge opportunity now presents itself against the new Champion of the Red Brand. You know, at one point in time, CM Punk held the WWE Championship for 434 days. And if he asked the self-proclaimed best in the world in 2024, his belief is that this championship reign is going to go a hell of a lot longer than just 434. He came back to the WWE with one goal in mind. And all you got to do is look around his waist to see that his mindset, his manifestation came to reality this past Saturday night. CM Punk back in action, 48 hours removed from a war with Kevin Owens this past Saturday night. Wait a minute, CM Punk hesitant to get inside the ring and oh, wait a minute here, Kevin Owens behind CM Punk. It looked as if CM Punk was trying to run away from another battle similar to that tag team matchup a few weeks ago. 
But Kevin Owens right behind CM Punk to ensure that there was nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Just because CM Punk is the WWE Champion does not mean he can run away from a matchup with Big Brunson Reed. Who is looking to mow over the champion as we kick things off here on Monday Night Raw from London, England. It has been a hell of a weekend here across the pond friday night smackdown in this very building on friday money in the bank over in the o2 on saturday night we conclude our trip to the united kingdom tonight with a massive matchup kicking things off as brunson reed has an opportunity here to take down the champion in a non-title matchup you gotta believe reed would be first up to challenge cm punk if he can do so here tonight well of course the intercontinental title will be on the line in your main event and somebody that the Judgment Day is very familiar with, that being Seth freaking Rollins. A loose partnership between those superstars as of late. The Visionary is back in action for the first time since he ambushed Roman Reigns several weeks ago. Also here tonight in London, there's a score to be settled between Shinsuke Nakamura and the A-list superstar The Miz. They're going to look to bury that hatchet inside of the ring here tonight. We saw CM Punk hesitant to get inside the squared circle. Almost reminiscent of when he left Kevin Owens high and dry a few weeks ago against the Judgment Day in tag team action. CM Punk is only interested in what he believes brings him the most success. And hell, you can't really knock the methods of CM Punk. He was able to play his cards correctly. That is really the terminology we have used to discuss CM Punk's road to the WWE Championship. Whatever games Punk had to play, he pulled whatever strings, got under the skin of Kevin Owens, and look what it brought him, the gold that he walked out of the ring with tonight. Punk obviously not trying to get in the ring with Big Brunson Reed, my goodness! I don't think I've ever seen Brunson Reed getting turned inside out. But CM Punk, the WWE Champion today, for a reason. May not be interested in this fight with Brunson Reed, but if he's forced to do so, CM Punk gonna try any means necessary to get the victory. CM Punk knows just how dangerous big Brunson Reed is. He felt just a glimmer of what Reed has to bring to the table two weeks ago in Washington, D.C. And I am sure CM Punk is not feeling 100% after the war with Kevin Owens on Saturday night. But such is life. And now Punk with the Anaconda Vice locked in on Big Brunson Reed. This submission hold just squeezes the life out of your lungs. Makes it almost inability to breathe. Brunson Reed's got to try to wait to survive. CM Punk smart to lock that in. Dead center of the ring. Brunson Reed using those thick tree trunk legs to help create some separation. Reed gasping for air momentarily, but is gonna try to take the advantage right out from CM Punk's hands. I'll tell you what, the championship may not be on the line tonight, but Reed recognizes the opportunity. CM Punk just squashed like a bug in the corner. And now Brunson Reed, power bomb to the champion, delivered with emphatic force. And CM Punk still in this matchup, but you gotta believe a hell of a lot was just taken out of your new WWE champion. Brunson Reed scaling the middle buckle. And whatever Reed's got in mind, it cannot be good. For the second city saint as Bronson Reed, a brick house just coming off the middle buckle, landing right on CM Punk's body. And Punk able to float Bronson Reed down. Sneaky pinfall here. Punk steals the victory as we kick things off on Raw. Oh, well, CM Punk able to survive Big Brunson Reed. But just because Kevin Owens had a hump in the road this past Saturday night does not mean Owens is just going to lay down for good. Kevin Owens has made a career out of just keep fighting. And he is looking to get back his WWE Championship for the best in the world. So you got
Well, we are on the road to SummerSlam on the 17th of August, but we'll be making a pit stop in Minneapolis, Minnesota on the 3rd for Saturday night's main event. And as announced this past Saturday, the Women's Tag Team Championships officially reinstated here in the WWE, and brand new champions will be crowned Saturday night, August the 3rd. More information to be announced. Women's Tag Team Championships will be up for grabs at Saturday night's main event. So much opportunity on the horizon for all the women of Monday Night Raw as well as Friday Night SmackDown. But we are back inside the Ovo Arena Wembley as the man has come back around to London. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. Well, let's take a look back at the Great American Bash two weeks ago. Becky Lynch returning in successful action. A Money in the Bank qualifier against Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green's friend and Piper Niven, however, not taking too kindly to Becky Lynch's victory. You see what happened after the bell, a sneak attack from behind. The Scottish warrior known as Piper Niven taking down Becky Lynch with a ringside assault. Becky Lynch obviously focused on winning the Money in the Bank contract this past Saturday night was not to be to the victor went the spoils and the victor known as Cora Jade. Well, Cora Jade will be back in action soon here on Monday Night Raw. The new Miss Money in the Bank. But as for the man, Becky Lynch, leaving the 0-2 empty-handed, approaching Raw tonight, looking to settle a score against Piper Niven. You know, we called Piper Niven a Scottish warrior a few moments ago. Similar to Drew McIntyre over on Friday Night SmackDown. Both from their homeland of Scotland and both vicious fighters inside of the ring. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven! Well, I'll tell you what, Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, those three friends have all been hanging around each other for months here on Monday Night Raw, and they're certainly start to accumulate a hell of a lot of enemies. And Piper Niven had no problem putting the target on her back two weeks ago with that ambush on Becky Lynch. Can't say Piper wasn't watching the back of Chelsea Green, and she is more than willing to wreak whatever vengeance that Becky Lynch is trying to sow here tonight. Well, nonetheless, Piper and Becky set to go one-on-one -on -one here on Monday Night Raw. And this matchup brought to you by our Wednesday afternoon action known as Velocity. Velocity goes down each and every Wednesday over the No Nation Gaming TikTok page. This Wednesday, women's division action courtesy of SmackDown as the prodigy Roxanne Perez looks to bounce back from a Money in the Bank loss against Nikki Cross. That is coming your way this Wednesday only on TikTok. You can go ahead and scan the QR code that is on your screen now. Go ahead and hit the follow and do not miss Velocity each and every Wednesday over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. And nonetheless, we are underway and immediately Piper Niven trying to set a precedent in this matchup. Trying to warn Becky Lynch that if you get back inside of this ring, there is going to be hell to pay. Piper, Chelsea, and Sonya, as we mentioned, they've been really accumulated this friendship over the last few months. They've been watching each other's back, and Piper and Evan out to assert some dominance here tonight. Out to bring some victories to that trio who has certainly seen more blemishes than not. I'll tell you, Piper and Evan, one tough SOB inside of that ring, and the man Becky Lynch, if she didn't know already, is finding out firsthand in just a few moments of this matchup. Size, strength, and even some athletic ability Coming your way from that woman from the homeland of Scotland. The man, Becky Lynch, as we mentioned, with CM Punk a few moments ago. And as we'll continue to mention throughout tonight, a lot of superstars not going to be feeling 100% after the events of Money in the Bank. A hell of a lot of wars going down this past Saturday night. Becky Lynch involved in one of the most violent of them, the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. But nonetheless, Becky Lynch going to walk down the aisle tonight and continue to fight. Spent some time on the shelf. 
disappearing from Raw since the month of February, re-emerging just two weeks ago. Becky is back to climb the ranks of the Red Brand again, but Piper Niven looking for Becky to be a stepping stone in her Monday Night Raw career. I'll tell you, this has been all Niven so far. Power bomb by Piper. Man, Becky making the trip over to here, over here to the United Kingdom. Could be going 0 for 2 over the last 48 hours. Becky must have been watching the matchup prior, almost stealing the victory on the same accord. May not have gotten Piper different shoulders down. Tried to steal the momentum back, and Piper make her pay with a massive Saido suplex. Here's how Piper Niven walked down the aisle tonight without Chelsea Green, without Sonya Deville. Piper Niven out to make a statement on her own behalf against the man Becky Lynch, who is starting to rally before this London, England audience. Massive exploder. Great strength shown by the man. And Becky Lynch has done it all, seen it all, has main evented throughout her career here in the WWE. But Becky Lynch coming back hungrier than ever. But it may not matter. Piper is looking to mow over the man tonight. Half a second away from gaining a huge victory here tonight in the OVO. Becky Lynch is looking worse for wear. Piper is just picking the bones of the man throughout this matchup thus far. Piper may not have been able to put Becky Lynch away with some of these powerful maneuvers that we've seen. Face first off her shoulders, the power bomb a few minutes ago, but you can clearly see just by the body language of Becky Lynch as she gets thrown over the top rope that a lot has been taken out of the man so far. Splat at ringside. Becky Lynch getting squashed by a flying Piper Nevin. Becky's ribs have got to be crying for mercy. Becky Lynch is not looking good. Wait a minute, don't discount the man. Nice reversal that time, and dare I say smart by Becky to try to create some distance momentarily. Come back to the outside here, and oh. Well, I don't know if Becky has got enough left in the tank. Piper has implored some powerful maneuvers throughout this matchup thus far that Becky Lynch is clearly feeling the fatigue of. As we mentioned, the women's Money in the Bank ladder match this past Saturday night, won by Monday Night Raw's respective Cora Jade. Becky Lynch involved in that matchup, taking some hard falls, a difficult fight from bell to bell, and the unfortunate loss coming up short in the end. Becky was hoping to bounce back tonight, but Piper Niven is ragdolling her from pillar to post all around ringside, having her way, trying to create a statement on Becky Lynch's behalf. Oh, right into the announce table. Asia Smith at a count of seven. Becky going back inside the ring. Piper Niven hanging Becky up at the top. That could be all she wrote. That might have been Becky's last ditch effort. Getting back into the ring. Only to be looking up at the lights by hands of Piper Niven, who is out for a dominating victory. Off the middle buckle. Becky Lynch in deep trouble. Piper Niven looking to put the exclamation point on this contest. Twas not to be. Becky Lynch rolling out with it. I think we know what comes next. Disarmor locked in just in the nick of time. Becky Lynch feeling a sense of urgency. Realizes she needs to pull out her best maneuvers. And it's going to aid her in victory. Piper Niven with no choice but to tap. The power of Piper Niven. Damn near destroyed Becky Lynch tonight, but Lynch reaching down, de down deep in her bag of tricks. A reliable disarmor, just when Becky needed it most. Able to come out on the other end of this matchup. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, what a sore loser. Piper Niven tap it out to the disarmor but it's not allowing Becky Lynch to soak in the pageantry of her victory. Becky Lynch wiped out. And Piper Niven's not done. Becky Lynch went, may have won the battle tonight, but Piper looking to leave the war, standing on her own two feet. 
That's a sore loser if I ever saw one. Well, one of the reasons the red brand may not be able to deny the takeover of the Judgment Day is the results they've produced against the, the Usos over the last few months. We take a look at Vengeance, where they won the World Tag Team Championship, simultaneously putting Jimmy Uso on the shelf in the midst of that Tornado Tag Team matchup. Of course, Dirty Dominic Mysterio with a hand and aiding Balor and Priest winning back the titles all the way back in May. Jey Uso trying to exact some revenge just 48 hours later on Raw. Of course, we take a look back to Dominic Mysterio and his ambush against main event Jey Uso in the parking garage two months ago as well. Jey Uso hasn't been seen since. And you remember the street champ Solo Sokoa stepping up for Jey Uso as Jay was unable to compete the following week in the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament at All-Star Raw. We take a look at what happened as Solo Sokoa tried to defend the honor of his brothers all the while advancing in the King of the Ring Tournament. This is where Dominic Mysterio and Damian Priest used their numbers to their advantage, not only allowing Dominic Mysterio to sneak away with a victory over the enforcer Solo Sokoa, but also Solo sent through the announce table by hands of Damian Priest. Well, it was last month on Raw that the tribal chief Roman Reigns was returned to the red brand, seemingly to address these issues between his family members and the Judgment Day themselves. But just as Roman Reigns was approaching the squared circle to speak his mind, cameras suddenly cutting to Seth Rollins, ambushing Roman Reigns in the backstage area, throwing him through the curtain and out into the arena, where he witnessed this heinous curb stomp Right on top of the concrete floor, Roman Reigns returned to Raw in the address that was to follow, spoiled by the visionary. There's always been this loose partnership between Rollins and the Judgment Day. Similar enemies have brought them together in the past. Seth Rollins knows Roman Reigns better than anybody else. And whether it was Rollins who made the call or the Judgment Day who recruited the visionary, they got exactly what they wanted. The Uso sideline. Solo Sokoa hasn't been seen since All-Star Raw. Roman Reigns knocked out in the Greensboro Coliseum last month. The Judgment Day continue their hostile takeover as the visionary Seth freaking Rollins returns to action for the first time since the King of the Ring event just last month in New Orleans. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds. You know, regardless of who recruited the other, Seth freaking Rollins, I'm sure was not happy to see Roman Reigns make his return to the WWE back at WrestleMania. And I'm sure he was even more bothered by the fact that he was coming to what Rollins believes is his show, Monday Night Raw. Roman Reigns walked away from this industry a few years ago, all the while Seth Rollins believes he was the backbone of World Wrestling Entertainment. And I am sure Rollins never wants to see a man he once called his brother ever again what wait a minute hold on now 
Seth Rollins is set for action, but that is the theme music of one tribal chief, Roman Reigns, is in London. Roman making a beeline for the visionary. The man who curb stomped his lights out on top of the concrete floor last month on Raw. Referee John Coon can call for a bell all he wants. Roman Reigns is gonna have to be surgically removed from beating Seth Rollins' body. Rollins had to believe this day was gonna come. If he knows Roman Reigns like he says he does, he had to believe Roman Reigns wasn't gonna take it lying down. Rollins set for action, but I don't think Roman Reigns is going to allow anything other than a vengeance-filled beatdown here tonight on Raw. Oh, man. The Tribal Chief coming for his pound of flesh. A spear on Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins could not have been expecting this. What he thought was going to be some in-ring competition turns into the annihilation of the visionary. Roman Reigns making a statement tonight on Raw. You reap what you sow. Payback's a bitch. And the Tribal Chief is back on Monday Night Raw. Oh, Damian Priest. One half of the world tag team champions. We told you the partnership between the Judgment Day and Seth Rollins runs deep. South of heaven as one half of the world tag team champions ambushes Roman Reigns from behind and now is looking to clear off the announce table. You saw moments ago, Damian Priest back at All-Star Raw, the South of Heaven to Solo Sokoa. We have not seen the Enforcer since. The Uso sideline by hands of the Judgment Day. Roman Reigns coming for Seth Rollins tonight, but he may not have factored in the numbers. South of Heaven through the announce table. The Judgment Day do what they want when they won and unfortunately for Roman Reigns he is just another victim of the men looking for a hostile takeover prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes a fast paced 600 seconds and all the action you can handle coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Well, we are back here on Raw. We're going to try to refocus from the events of moments ago. Roman Reigns re-emerging, taking out Seth freaking Rollins, but unfortunately toppled thanks to the numbers. Damian Priest coming to Seth Rollins' aid. That partnership really taking down Roman Reigns and may have taken down an entire bloodline once and for all. We try to move on as we got singles action on hand here in London. Well, it was just a few weeks ago, The Miz went one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura picked up the victory, but tried to use The Miz after a match to send a message to the Monday Night Raw brand that he is still the same dangerous King of Strong style and maybe more dangerous than ever before. Miz not taking very kindly to that. Tried to come to R-Truth's aid as of late when Nakamura tried to do the same to him. Miz was able to get one up on Nakamura. Tonight they look to settle the score in between the bells once and for all. Well, I'm sure the Miz is... What the hell? Not... Hold on. 
Yeah, I'm just as confused as the Miz and John Conarn. Wait a minute. Is Nakamura, is Nakamura sending the Nigerian giant Omos down to the ring? How the hell did he pull this off? Hold on now. It is supposed to be the Miz versus Shinsuke Nakamura tonight. But Omos has entered the ring. Looked as if Nakamura was nursing his arm, trying to pull off some bulls. Oh, my goodness. Well, nonetheless, the bell has sounded. The Miz has got Omos. You know, this is not the first time Omos has been a replacement for somebody trying to pull one under on a superstar here on Raw. What's this guy just waiting around, making deals with people in the back? I don't know. This is not what The Miz signed up for tonight. The Miz wanted Shinsuke Nakamura. Instead, he's getting this freak giant known as Omos. I don't know what, how Nakamura pulled this off. Whatever strings he pulled, whatever management he talked to. What, did he get a doctor's note? He can't compete here in London tonight? Absolutely ridiculous. Nonetheless, The Miz has got to try to now think on his feet and think of a strategy to take down the Nigerian giant Omos before our very eyes. Well, look at The Miz taking Omos over momentarily, but there's one thing that we sound like a broken record saying. It is one thing, it is one thing to knock Omos off his feet. It's a whole other thing to keep him there. Man, I don't know if The Miz is going to be able to keep Omos off his feet. I don't know if he's going to be able to hit a skull-crushing finale on this somebody this size but right now Miz is just gonna try to find his way out of the corner maybe not like that Shinsuke Nakamura pulling one over on the Miz Nakamura picking up victories as of late on Raw one over the Miz one over R-Truth tried to beat up both men after the matchup got his way versus the Miz the Miz stopping him from an attack on R-Truth several weeks ago now the Miz looking to settle the score with Shinsuke Nakamura. But Nakamura, I'm, I'm just going to say it, pulling out, a, like I said, a doctor's note. How the hell did he pull this off? And then Omos taking his place. And now the Miz obviously trying to come up with a completely different strategy. Nakamura and Omos bring a vastly different style to the squared circle. As much as Miz might be trying to think on his feet, ain't nothing you can do when you're getting tossed around the ring by somebody known as a Nigerian giant, Omos, with a choke slam on the Miz. Well, thanks for making the trip to the United Kingdom. I'm sorry, Shinsuke Nakamura was too much of a coward. Well, Omos picking up a victory over The Miz nonetheless. Dangerous as all hell is that Nigerian giant. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a No Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before. Well, this past Saturday night in the O2, we witnessed the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup, and one superstar who truly shined was Monday Night Raw's badass, Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker on a tear from bell to bell, and not only was a shining star throughout the matchup, but was the man holding the prize, Mr. Money in the Bank of 2024, called the badass Braun Breaker. And speaking of Mr. Money in the Bank, he approaches the squared circle, looking to leave this trip to the United Kingdom on that much more of a positive note. The dogs are out here in London, and Braun Breaker is holding a golden opportunity for a future championship matchup. Making it. 
Oh, wait a minute. Karrion Cross. Cross from behind. Ambushing Braun Breaker in the aisle way. Well, Cross has had an issue with Braun Breaker ever since Braun came to the aid of Baron Corbin almost two months ago on Raw, saving him from a beatdown for this harbinger of doom. Well, Cross has got to be feeling even that much more some type of way after Braun defeated him in the Money in the Bank qualifier two weeks ago and then went on to win the contract just this past Saturday. Oh man, there is some anarchy in the air tonight in London. And unfortunately for Braun Breaker, he is not on a positive side of it. Come on now, on the concrete, a final prayer by the Harbinger of Doom. We need to get some medical attention for Mr. Money in the Bank. Ain't no way he's competing tonight. Well, as we wrap up our weekend here in London, we invite you to become a No Nation Gaming channel member. Receive behind the scenes content and punch your ticket to the first of monthly WWE live events kicking off on Saturday night, August the 10th. The WWE Champion CM Punk already signed to be in action. Well, what about next week on Monday Night Raw back in the States? Earlier tonight, Piper Niven with an ambush on Becky Lynch after an unfortunate loss. Bailey looking to step up on behalf of her friend. She has challenged Piper Niven to this matchup. Bailey coming up short 48 hours ago at Money in the Bank. Looks to bounce back next week here on Raw. And speaking of Money in the Bank, Tiffany Stratton stealing away a spot in that matchup several weeks ago via countout over Bianca Belair. The EST has not forgotten. She threw out the challenge in Raw General Management, granting her wish for this matchup against Tiffany Stratton live next week on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship! It is main event time here in the OVO Arena Wembley. And if you saw Money in the Bank, then you may recognize what I believe is the most hated man in London, England. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Well, the Money in the Bank replay available now for those who missed it. Dominic Mysterio certainly was not welcomed anywhere near the temperature of warm inside the O2 Arena this past Saturday night. But quite frankly, I don't think Dirty Dom or any of the Judgment Day give a damn. Damian Priest already with the blood on his hands earlier tonight. Saving Seth Rollins from a attack from Roman Reigns, the south of heaven through the announce table. The Judgment Day and Rollins, they have officially killed that bloodline and its existence here in the WWE once and for all. But now the attention shifts to Dirty Dom, backed by the entirety of the Judgment Day. The World Tag Team Champions Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley. The black and purple group are looking to house all some gold by the end of tonight.
Well, Dominic Mysterio certainly is the same man who once teamed up with his father over on Friday Night SmackDown. And that has a hell of a lot to do with this reception or lack there of it here in the Oboe Arena Wembley. The most hated man in London may be the luckiest man in London by the end of tonight. But Dominic Mysterio better be ready to scratch and claw to the depths of hell if he's going to take down Sami Zayn's Intercontinental Championship reign. Sami Zayn has successfully defended that gold against Carmelo Hayes, Kerry and Cross, Baron Corbin, AJ Styles, and even Dominic Mysterio himself. For over 130 days, Sami Zayn has House Theater Continental Championship, winning it back on WrestleMania Saturday, defeating the megastar LA Knight. But now Sami Zayn walks back into the line of fire, into a familiar foe, Dominic Mysterio. And the odds are stacked against the champion tonight. With the Judgment Day in the corner of Dirty Dom, Sami Zayn must live up to what has been a theme of his entire career. The underdog from the underground, the ever fighting champion. London certainly behind Sami Zayn tonight. But will Dominic Mysterio bring more gold to the Judgment Day Clubhouse? Introducing the challenger. This main event brought to you by No Nation Gaming channel memberships. Hit the join button down below. Receive access to behind the scenes content and punch your ticket to monthly WWE house shows that kick off on Saturday night, August the 10th. But we are here in the Ovo Arena Wembley, concluding our weekend in London, England. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line as Rod Zapata hoists the prize in the air. For 135 days to be exact, Sami Zayn has been your Intercontinental Champion, but with the numbers against him tonight, will the Judgment Day be bringing more gold back to the clubhouse? Bell has sounded, we are underway. Sami Zayn looking to conquer a familiar foe in Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Tornado DDT that busted open Dom right off the opening bell. Dominic Mysterio has been cracked immediately as Sami Zayn is hot out of the gate trying to take down Dominic Mysterio in early waters. Dominic Mysterio landed right on the button and has been cracked wide open. Now Sami Zayn trying to bring the pressure to the dome. Zayn realizing that although he has beaten Dominic Mysterio in the past, Dominic Mysterio's got not one, not two, but three X factors at ringside. Look at Dom sending Sami Zayn to the outside, trying to create a little distance momentarily, catch a word with his brothers and sister of the Judgment Day. Or shall I say his brothers and his mommy of the Judgment Day. Nonetheless, Zayn back inside the ring. Dominic Mysterio inside cradle to win the Intercontinental Championship here on Raw. Zayn still alive. And there you see right there, right in your background, the Prince Finn Balor exposing one of the turnbuckle pads. And now Dirty Dom trying to wreak the benefits of having the Judgment Day at ringside. Sense of urgency out of Sami Zayn in the opening moments. Dominic Mysterio busted wide open. Now look at Dom just trying to shove it where the sun don't shine here in London. And Zayn right to the LED post. Dominic Mysterio, a completely different man than he once was. 
Ever since getting traded to Monday Night Raw and joining the ranks of the Judgment Day, he has adopted every negative trait that those three individuals house at ringside. And much to the chagrin of this London, England audience, Dominic Mysterio has gained control of this main event action. Sami Zayn, the numbers against him tonight, and also the talent of Dominic Mysterio. As much as Dom might be a dirty prick inside of that ring, you can't take away the generational talent that he houses. Sami Zayn sent to the outside and right into the waiting wolves of Balor, Priest, and Rhea. And get your bloody hands off Sami Zayn. Rhea Ripley just took a shot. And Ron Zapata, thankfully, is getting the women's champion, I believe, away from ringside. Look at that. Ron Zapata's back being turned. He's got no eye on the action right now. Rhea Ripley, I believe, was just sent to the back. Now he's fixing the exposed turnbuckle. And this is why Dominic Mysterio may be the odds-on favorite tonight. Sami Zayn has made a career out of being the underdog and has certainly made an Intercontinental Championship reign of doing so as well. We talked about his successful defenses. Dirty Dominic Mysterio, the first man that lined up on the first Raw of the season back in Madison Square Garden in March. Zayn was able to survive on that night. Can he do so again? Submission hold locked back in. Zayn trying to squeeze the life out of the Temple of Dom. And you remember the wound that has been Exposed onto the face of Dominic Mysterio certainly is not going to aid him in this matchup. Dominic Mysterio thinks he's so tough. Let's see if he can fight when he smells his own blood. And just like that, Sami Zayn getting knocked down to size. Rhea Ripley might have been tossed out of ringside, but there is still the World Tag Team Champions looming. Three-time World Tag Team Champions at that. Dom now with the elevated DDT. Mysterio to win the Intercontinental Championship. Zayn again, excuse me, still into this matchup. Oh, and I believe Sami Zayn has also been busted wide open. I believe that DDT did it. Both of these men just landed right on the right spots and finding wounds that have now been exposed. Of course, both of these men just 48 hours removed from competing in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. As we've talked about with numerous superstars tonight, they cannot be feeling 100%, but such is life. The story rolls on, and now the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Notice Dom exposing another turnbuckle pad. The games of the Judgment Day just never stop. They always got a trick up their sleeve. They always got themselves. Or as tonight showed, somebody else in their back pocket. Seth freaking Rollins. You never know when he's looming. Well, now Dom sending Zayn to the outside again. And look at this. Rod Zapata's back is turned. Fixing up the turnbuckle pad. Balor and Priest are getting some shots in on the Intercontinental Champion. This is absolutely ridiculous. And now Dom into the cover to steal away the title. Not just yet, Sami Zayn is still alive. Thankfully, Zayn kicking out. But you notice right there in the games that the Judgment Day are willing to play. Oh, but Zayn not going to stop fighting. Blue Thunder Bomb. Just when he needed it most, Dom might have kicked out, but you know a hell of a lot of win was just taken out of Dom's sails. Sami Zayn with a sense of urgency. Smells his blood, and Dom's in the water, and trying to be the shark in this equation. Big boot. Damn near a halluva kick. Dominic Mysterio still in it. Sami Zayn trying to rally here in London, England. Oh, wait a minute, Damian Priest grabbing Zayn's ankle. Balor mouthed it off to the Intercontinental Champion. You know, Rod Zapata should have done us all a favor and thrown the entire group away from ringside. Another inside cradle by Dirty Dom, not just yet. Sami Zayn fighting the numbers of the Judgment Day tonight. You want to know the casualties that Priest, 
Balor and Dom especially have been up to on Raw over the last few months. Look no further than the absence of the Usos, the absence of Solo Sokoa. We saw what happened to Roman Reigns. Way laid out by hands of the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest earlier tonight. And now Dom, looking for the exclamation point here in London, delivers a 619 to Sami Zayn. Halo! And this is gonna do it. New Intercontinental Champion on the horizon, not just yet! Sami Zayn gonna keep on fighting. And Dom can't believe it. I think Dom thought that was it. The 619 stacked with the halo over the top. Well, Sami Zayn still with some fight left in his heart. As long as blood is flowing through the veins, Zayn is going to keep swinging. A hard fought road to winning the Intercontinental Championship 135 days ago at WrestleMania. Just as tough of a road, retaining it ever since. Zayn looks to survive the numbers, survive the games of the Judgment Day tonight, but can he do so as he just collapses in the corner? Zayn taken out in enemy territory, and down he goes at ringside again. Well, wait a minute here, wait a minute, Rod Zapata getting rid of Finn Balor! Well, the referee's back is turned, Dominic Mysterio is exposed to another turnbuckle. Oh, wait a minute. I think Balor might have got the attention of Rod on purpose. Zane right in the exposed steel. You've got to be kidding me now. Dom on top. Frog splash. The Judgment Day played the game. And Sami Zayn falling short. Zane just got screwed here at London. The Judgment Day knew that they might be leaving ringside at some point, but they used it in their favor. Balor having the referee's back turn. Dom exposing the steal. Add a frog splash on top of that. Zayn just lost his gold. Here is your winner and the Much to the chagrin of this sold out crowd here at the OVO. The most hated man in London just became the luckiest man in London. And as much as we may despise the men and women in the black and purple, I don't think anybody can deny their hostile takeover. A new Intercontinental Champion.